Hi guys. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about a flash. It's this flash. It's the Flash Q Q20. Uh, and I want to give you a little bit of a story time so you know where I'm coming from. There's a company called Lightpix Labs, which are these guys. Um, they contacted me and they say, hey, you know, we have this flash, we want you to try it, we'll send you one for free and whatnot. Now, many times people write me for the channel, not because it's a big channel, but for some reason, maybe, maybe this happens to a lot of YouTubers, but I have no, I have no way of knowing it, I'm just me. Um, I get many offers of people having like straps or Lightroom presets or like websites that want me to advertise and I'm, I always say no because I don't want to just fill the channel with crap and advertisement but at the same time once in a while like for example now uh, somebody writes me with a product that sounds interesting and I always say okay I'm gonna try it and if I don't like it I need uh, to be able to say that I don't like it. Like I'm not gonna be give like a dishonest review and say it's awesome just because you give me a copy of your product. Like it doesn't work that way. Anyway, it came in this really nice, I mean it came in a box, I didn't bring the box, but it came in this really nice pouch and it has a few add-ons. It has some uh, gels so you can uh, change the color of the flash which comes in handy if you want to experiment stuff. It comes with a PC sink. There are Three main things that I think are awesome about this flash um, and, and are the things that actually convinced me to bring this to Chile. Now the first thing is you can tilt the head. So you can just put it on top of your camera and <laughs> you can have like bouncing light uh, in a really small package which like only this is more than enough to say okay this is awesome. But, but this is not it. It also has an LED light which you can use for modeling or if you're filming video I mean it's not it's not super powerful but it's it's good enough to model something or if you want to have some uh, continuous light on your subject or you're having like an interview and you want to have like a rim light or whatever you can use this thing it works really well um, but the main thing that I thought it was awesome is that you can detach the flash uh, and you can use it wirelessly so this acts like a trigger and it just fires the flash. So I was thinking what can I do with this flash that might be interesting for the channel so people could see how it works uh, but I'm not really into giving super technical specifications or whatnot. I'm gonna um, yeah I'm gonna leave like all the guide number and all the uh, boring stuff or technical stuff written down on the side but um, I wanted to give like a like a like an interesting try to this flash so what I did was I contacted my friend Guillermo um, Guille, and Guille has a, a Ricoh camera, which a lot of you guys have recommended me to use, so I, I, I said, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. And a friend of mine, Camila, um, the other day posted on social media, like, hey, you know, I have some balloons, I wanna have, like, a, a session, if someone's, int if someone's interested, uh, please hit me up. And I was like, hey, Camila, I'm in Chile, like, we, we could, like, meet up and have, like, a photo session or whatever just to try a flash is nothing like like a big deal and she was like oh yeah cool yeah let, let's let's meet up um, so yeah Guillermo and I went to Camila's place and, and we took some pictures with, with uh, Guillermo's Rico camera uh, and I used extensively this flash in all the ideas that I could think of yeah I wanna show you the video and then I'll talk at the end so see you at the end
the session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to follow Camila, you can follow her on Instagram. It's Musa underscore the underscore Lirio. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link anyway on the description. So yeah, thanks Stay a lot. For them. <laughs> thanks guys. Do something more. Entertain me. I am very happy. <laughs> to see you I hope you like my pink hair. <laughs> yeah. So that was the video. I, I think you can pretty much see how this thing works. Not not only. Uh, you can see how it works technically, but how good this uh, off-camera flash thing works. Uh, I think it's I think it's a really interesting flash. But what I think it's most interesting is the price point. It's not an expensive flash at all, and for everything that you get on this thing, it's a really good deal. Um, now the guys from uh, Lightpix Labs are not paying me; they just gave me this copy of the flash, which, as I said, is not an expensive flash. So um, I'm not being paid for making any promotion. I just think it's a really cool flash. It's a, it's a cool product. It works really well. Um, and, and, and man, this thing is just, it's genius. I, I love this thing. And you can just leave it there and, and take some pictures and like leave it wherever you want. It will fire. It's, it's an amazing thing. You can, you can shoot against bright sun and it works okay. I was shooting at F16, F11. Um, and, and it was just working all the way, like on full power, it was giving me everything I needed. Of course, if you want to have like a professional session of fashion, or if you want to bring this to a wedding and have like nice portraitures, you better have like an umbrella or some kind of diffuser, but um, on, on the video I just used it like a bare flash, and I think for bare flash use, it works okay too. The tilting thing is just perfect. You can leave it wherever you want, and it's so compact uh, that you can just, yeah, choose how to use it. And it, it, it feels, there's a nice sensation in using this thing wirelessly. So, would I recommend it? Yes, I will highly recommend it. Uh, in fact, Guillermo was quite psyched about this flash too. And I showed it to Fernando. I guess you remember Fernando from the video where he was using the X-Pro2 on the rooftop with the dancers and whatnot. And I showed him this flash and he was like, oh my god, I need to buy one of these. So I guess I, I, I became some kind of uh, flash cue Jesus among my friends because I, I've been talking about this flash to all my friends and they've been like super excited about it. They have not heard about this. Um, until I show it to them, and I haven't heard about this until the guys from Lightpix Labs wrote me, so um, yeah, if, if you can find this thing, uh, please give it a go. I'm gonna try to leave the, the links in the description so you can buy your own flash from this thing. I don't know how durable they are, because this one is brand new, so yeah, I can I can bet on this. If they last for five years or one month, I have no way of knowing. But they, they don't look flimsy at all. I mean, it's plastic, of course, but it's not like it doesn't feel like it's gonna break on me at any given moment, like not, not, not in the near future. And if you're not into like digital photography, you can use the PC Sync to like have off camera flash sync to your Hasselblad or your X Pan or whatever have you. Man, it's a great thing. It also has some uh, mounting thread, so you can use it on a tripod. So this guy's really thought about this thing. So yeah, I have nothing else to say. I just I just highly recommend this thing and, and big shouts to like Pix Labs for, for making this thing. Uh, I, I, I think it was a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo project and it, it, it they finished the flash and now they're selling it commercially. Uh, so great job guys. I'm I'm actually impressed. I wasn't betting any money on this. I was like, eh, I'm gonna give it a try and probably say it sucks. But it doesn't. It's really good. So congrats on this thing. And as a bonus, I'm gonna leave uh, Guille to tell us a little bit about the Ricoh camera because I just tried for the episode, but I didn't give it like any. Um, I, I didn't learn how to use it. I was just changing the f-stop because I needed to have like a camera, like a digital camera with a wide angle that I could use and not worry about anything. So I just set it on. Um, I guess I was shooting at 200 uh, shutter speed, and the ISO was. 100 I think and then it was f11 f16 f8 like I was changing only the f number But I, I didn't know how to operate the camera So I'm just gonna let Guillermo talk us about the Rico camera and that will be the bonus of this video And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Keep shooting guys So you know this camera like all around. Yeah, I have used it extensively for my like personal time or work mm -hmm. for the last two or three years and 
I can say that this camera is the best camera in the market for the last three years. Oh man. In terms of <laughs> the quality you get in this size. Uh, you you lose the electronic viewfinder that you could have in the, for example in the Fuji X100 series, but if you don't need it, this camera is awesome. It doesn't have a low pass filter, so the files are extremely sharp with he, with its 28 millimeter equivalent lens. Mm -hmm. It's a 2.8, so it's also a fast. The the bokeh is really nice, but it's mostly super sharp. Can we see some pictures that you've taken? In yeah, the you can post it on the video. The pros are like amazing image quality. Uh -huh. uh, the raw files have a lot of latitude uh, in the in editing. Mm -hmm. uh, it you notice at first that this camera was designed by photographers for photographers because you can have all the controls in one hand, and it's really comfortable, uh, even though it's a small camera. Like many people complain when they they use like small cameras, it's like a their fingers are too big to, to control them. Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, and this camera is like perfect for me and I have big hands. Yeah. So like I really recommend it. Um, the only downside, the, the, big, the biggest downsides are, the, are two in my opinion. Uh, one is that this lens mechanism that works like a point and shoot that when you, you turn it on goes out, mm -hmm. it sucks a lot of air and dirt when you turn it off. Oh. So my camera already has some dirt inside uh, where like it gets like weird flares that don't look pretty. And a lot of users that love the Rico uh, talk about having the same problems. And many have like two versions of the camera. <laughs> so one camera is always in repair while they're using the other one. But th yeah, that's a huge downside. Uh, and the other one is the like the autofocus if you like to use continuous autofocus or servo autofocus if you are in Canon terms, mm -hmm. it sucks. Like it's it's really bad. So you must. So you use... can like take sports or something. Yeah, it's not for that. Not at all. Okay. Or you, you could use it for like sun focusing. Works amazing. You have like a digital scale or where are you focusing? So for that kind of shooting, it's perfect. Oh, if cool. you want to shoot action, it's not the best. What's funny is that this camera. You can see it even in the external design is super utilitarian. Like it's like it's made for function. So the menus are like that. Are like they are straight, black and white, like with the specific settings that you need. It's like super obvious. Oh, it's similar to a Canon menu. Super simple. I must mention mm -hmm. one feature that is exclusive for the Ricoh GR model mm -hmm. and that street photographers love, myself included, called snap focus where in the menus you can preset a focusing distance for example one meter let's say so you're shooting pictures using like the autofocus la 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 and suddenly something cool or interesting happens like in front of you and if you press the button the shutter button like straight down until the end the camera will focus to the preset focus distance you put in the menu so in my case, one meter. So like you can always know that if you just press the button uh, until the end, it will be focused on the one meter distance. That's really cool. It's really cool. Like it, it, it gives you the ability to capture things really fast. So you don't need to rely on the autofocus in that regard. No, no, no in that regard. Uh, like you should probably be, be using like f8 to make sure <laughs> to get anything in focus. But it's like most photographers, like for street photography, tend to use that. Oh, it's yeah. pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. Well, thanks for the uh, for the review. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that you can talk about the camera because I have zero experience about it. But many people have recommended me uh, to try it out. So. I, I, I must mention like one other thing is that my my Rigo GR is the the version one. Mm -hmm. The version two is exactly the same camera in every aspect. Uh, the only thing they changed is that they added uh, the Wi-Fi functionality if you want to transfer pictures to your phone. That's oh, okay. It. So if, if you don't care too much about that, buy the first version because you will save some money. Awesome, man. Hey, sure. thanks for the review. And yeah, so I'll see you later. Thank you. Okay, take care, man. <laughs>